All right, welcome back, Lube Tubers. Jamie Bruce here, just clocked into the cabin for the weekend. Gonna do some pretty heavy ice slinging. Listen to that cedar just bucking. Gonna have like an hour to fish tonight. Uh, you know, just raced out here after work and gonna unload my gear and go try to find a new walleye hole. One of my favorite things to do is, is check out new water, not just go to the same spots over and over, but to actually uh, expand on the knowledge base and no matter how long I ice fish for, I still find the most enjoyment out of finding some new spots. So we'll, uh, we'll poke around. We're gonna go check some ice here on Lake of the Woods and hopefully show you some walleyes. All right, we made her out to the zone. Ice was decent. There's like kind of seven to 10 inches the whole way. So no worries there, thankfully. Uh, it's always a little weary laying the first set of tracks. Uh, you know, probably went 10, 12 miles and didn't see a single track. It's a cool time of year though. This is usually when you see the wolves out on the ice before the people start, I didn't see any yet, but just like being out here this time of year. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna try a new zone. I've fished this area before uh, in the summer before the Kenora walleye open. And I actually caught some big walleye and some good numbers in it. It's not a traditional winter walleye hole. There's not a bunch of deep water around or, or natural current or anything like that. It's just kind of a stagnant bay with a little bit of water. There's a couple deep holes that like you'd associate with crappies, but there's no crappies in it uh, that I've seen. And then there's just a couple high rock spots, you know? So the whole thing's like, you know, 10, 12 feet. And then there's like some 30, uh, 30 plus, and then a little bit of rock kind of right around there. So I think this is the time of year to be fishing, uh, you know, these lower oxygen areas later in the year as the oxygen dwindles you'll find more of the walleye around the main basins as you might have already noticed on lake of the woods or any other lake like that so uh we're gonna give her a go i don't know what we're gonna run into i've caught white fish and weird things back here in the fall uh bass walleye possibility of trout there out of season so i'm not gonna target those pike i mean crappie who knows it's lake of the woods anything could happen uh need a couple for the pan on uh yeah when i was making my meal plan for the weekend i put friday night as counting on catching at least something to something to harvest so we're gonna give her a go i'm gonna punch out this zone a little bit and scope around and feel her out and hopefully show you a few critters Got the old lap scope going he's that early down it's eerie out here <laughs> there's not a person for miles and miles and miles No complaints. Anytime I'm sniffing around a new piece of structure, I usually like to put a dead stick down. And then just hop around and do double duty. I'm one of the biggest neglectors of minnow buckets, so anytime I have like a fancy nice one, I always freeze it and crack it or break it in the sled or whatever, so. We run the cartons. They're malleable, they can take a beating hold water like a banshee if a banshee held water fishing all across the u.s and tournament fishing and all that the most important lesson and applies to a lot of things if you're fishing new water use something you know that catches them if you're around fish you can't catch experiment with other stuff i know the clack daddy catches them everywhere she goes so Tee that guy up on the honor system. All right, rod two is just a VMC jig and spoon with a minner head. Like I said, new water, so stick with what you know. Start playing with stuff once you start getting denied, once you know there's critters around that are the target speakies. Just gonna do the sled hop. I drilled a big wide loop around this hole and around this structure, so just gonna be bop on the power toboggan. Nope. Nope. Pack up. Gave this spot half of the primo time. No shot of life, no bait, no bottom sliders, no nothing. Been around this pond long enough to know when it's time to go. I hope I know when it's time to go. There's nothing sadder than the night bite that never came and I'm not going to be sitting around here on a beautiful night like this wasting her on nothing we're on the move she's no time to be lazy gussie 
I'll have to call you back, bud. You'll understand. Pardon, oh, strapper. I just still had her on whole hop mode. <laughs> this poor auger's been run over, dropped off the rack, everything. That's why we run the strike, daddies. up oh yeah we got some fish what is it i'd kill for a bite right now Ooh, it ain't little either oh i got him it is little oh no i lost him my only bite that's not good i'm gonna do the old bottom bash to call him in uh see you sliding sliding in for the night bite don't stop at that boulder. That thing's about four foot long. <laughs> this might be interesting if it comes any closer. Big Daddy Slinker. I don't know what it is. Actually, I do. It's the first bite of the night, and it's not a little one. Oh, she going for a ride, bub. I'm shocked if that's a walleye. <laughs> I sure hope it is. Let the old Kaylin do her thing. <laughs> Big critter. Got my 38 medium. Why this is a good lake of the woods rod because you never know what you're going to run into it's soft enough for walleye and perch but it's kind of right on that line where she's a swiss army knife i'm nervous <laughs> and excited Go for your dance there, honey. I changed all my ice fishing spoon hooks out to red lines, so. I like that extra strength for when you run into a big critter. never know. Let's get off that ice. Chain pickerel. Big one too. I think I lost him. Harpooned him in the side. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting grab. He's got that red line like in behind his gill. I'm going to have to get a meat net on him here. No wonder he felt so weird. Pike snagging. Got a disease. Snagged a pike at 415. Pike snagging. Pike snagging. reason there you are you big pickerel oh, there's your head uh, this is scary just maybe can you just turn your head 
don't really want to. I got mitts on her. Got you. Oh, that's a big pickerel. There's the first critter of the night. That ain't a little one. She ain't a walleye. I'm not going to eat it, but that gets us started. That's cool. It's a gooder. Slide her back. She's a little stunned from the battle. Oh yeah. Let the night bite commence, even though she's damn near over, but we still got a chance at some Waldos or maybe another toothy. I'm like putting the headlamp on to look at the screen. Ooh, some little slinkers. Got a little slink in your step. Okay, that could be a walleye. Oh, God. We're on, we're on. Yes, sir. <laughs> Took all night. We're into the headlamp. And I probably should have retied after that pike. <laughs> we got us some meat. Never give up. Oh, man, they're coming like crazy. Relays. That's a beautician. Never gave up for a second. Just kidding. I was about to pack her in. But they were slinking hard there. Look at that beaut. Eater Avenue, baby. This is what happens when you go straight out fishing instead of getting things prepped around the cabin. You get to go night chopping. All right, made her back to the cabin, just warming up my pike hands uh, from my deep dive there, all 10 inches of it. But that's, uh, you know, that's an exploratory night. That happens sometimes. Uh, you know, happy to have just caught some. I got one there, I'll be stretching thin for dinner. Uh, the big rig usually needs more than one 15 inch walleye, but we got some premium sides to go with it. So we'll survive there. Um, you know, th this is kind of what I like doing in the winter is exploring a new area. Ash and I have been in this cabin for a couple of years and uh, haven't really had time to like fully check the surrounding area out. And I mean, you never know where the mother load's going to be. I have found some good stuff that, you know, I'll go back to. And this is what I like to do in the winter. So sometimes I strike out, sometimes I get a couple and sometimes she bang shang or ang. So I'm going to get back at it the next few days. I'm going to charge up my powerhouse, charge up my strike master and, uh, going to be hard at Lake of the Woods for the next couple of days now that I know there's a little bit of ice out there. So keep your eyes peeled for some more videos to come and don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks everyone for stopping by. See you.